It's time to sing along with Twitter. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. CNET has learned that Twitter is building its own music app. Twitter bought the music discovery service called We Are Hunted, and Twitter's using that technology to build an app called Twitter Music. It would suggest artists and songs to listen to based on who you follow on Twitter. This means Twitter is taking steps to become a media company. It's no secret that music artists are popular on Twitter, but now Twitter wants to be a home for discovering music. And if you remember, Facebook's redesign now has its own music news feed. So they say Facebook wants to be like Twitter and Twitter wants to be like Facebook, but everyone wants to be more of a music service like MySpace. Whoa, it's all coming full circle. So maybe that report on Samsung Galaxy S4 having eye tracking technology was not correct. Bloomberg has a report saying that the eye tracking technology probably won't be in the S4 at launch, but maybe it'll be in a software update in the future. But if there's no eye tracking technology, then what else will Samsung show off to wow us? Watch the phone unveiling live at CNET on Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. No matter what Samsung shows off, expect a flood of ads to follow. That's because a recent report shows Samsung spends more than Apple in marketing. You've seen the memorable ads about how the iPhone is for uncool parents, but Samsung also pours in money to things like a random tap dancing performance in Times Square. All that marketing muscle spells trouble for brands like HTC. It has a pretty good phone with the HTC One, but it's going to need to do more to get noticed against Samsung. The HTC One was thought to launch sometime next week, but HTC says it's facing shipment delays. People might not see this in stores until April. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the super cool all aluminum body takes more than three hours to put together. Yeah, each one. The Google Now app may soon be coming to Apple devices. A video about Google Now for iOS was posted on YouTube and was quickly taken down, but the folks at Engadget were sly and reposted it. Google Now is a feature of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. It taps into your calendar, email, news and location. And after learning about your habits, it'll send you notifications that are relevant to your life. Like if there's heavy traffic on the route you take to work. Isn't it nice of Google to offer this app to iPhone users? You would think Google would want to keep this feature as something exclusive to Android phones. After all, you don't see Apple making Siri apps for any other phone. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.